Hello and welcome to this Blitz video and we are celebrating being over 1800 for a brief moment in time. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to play three steps ahead from perhaps Belgian. Yeah, Belgian. And we're going to play the advanced Karakhan against this. And this setup, which I've seen, been seeing a lot recently, it's a nice simple way for black to play. Splits white's pawns, so you can play e6 and then just pick up this, uh, just pick up this pawn on c5 quite, quite easily. I think this is okay for white as well. There's the attack on the pawn. We can try and hold on to this if we want to. Um, it's not quite clear what happens if we try that. We could also play bishop e3, just trying to hang on to it directly. Let's imagine bishop e3, knight a6 to hit it again. B4 then, we wouldn't be able to play because knight takes B4. So that's the idea. If we play B4 immediately, then once again knight here, then we could play C3. Let's try and be greedy and hang on to the pawn. We usually, these kinds of things often backfire. We have got queen B5 check here in some lines. In fact, that might have been the best response immediately. So that's the, that's the, um, so this is hitting this and this. Interesting. Maybe we can't hold both of these. Queen e3 will hold them for now, but then we run into d4. Queen c3. Queen b5 hangs on for now. Pinning the knight on c6. It's just a very greedy way of playing this and usually backfires on the greedy person. So let's see. Well, black could just break the pin with queen d7, threatening. Okay, he's not doing that now, so we can play knight here for now. Just once again, holding on to this e5 pawn. We've got bishop b2 to hold on to the e5 pawn. a6 is the move here. We could try queen here, but then queen takes, queen takes, and then you pick up this. So let's try this move again, just for now. Now there's this uh, thing that I missed, of course. Now he's going to pick up c5 as well. Um, okay. What about this move? Let's just think about this. What about this? Yeah, I mean, the safest thing to do is to just accept that we've lost the pawn plus an extra one and get out. Let's try, let's try playing c3. Kick the knight. We are covering c2. So now this is on, let's try bishop e3 to hold this structure as long as we can, because if we don't hold it, then we're just a pure pawn down. And I've completely missed, of course, that. Yeah, okay, uh, let's get castled now, because, I mean, if we take, 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 and then queen takes bishop here, queen takes queen, ugh. So terrible, so terrible. What else could we do? We can't play bishop f4. Take check, the queen just moves. It's so frustrating, things like this, playing so badly. All right, let's just get castled then and we're gonna lose a whole bunch of pawns here. It's gonna take on c5, we'll be one, two, three pawns down, I think, something like that. Okay, let's try, can we play this, takes, takes, ugh, it's just such a terrible position. All right, let's try this, try and play c4, and then answer dc with rook c1. Guess knight in, rook c1. How many pawns down are we? With this one, with this one. We're two pawns down here. We have a tiny bit of activity. It's obviously not anywhere near enough. Plus we're down on time. Uh, so let's see, this is hanging. So let's see, let's try this then and we'll give up the a pawn for activity. Maybe knight d6 in answer to queen a2 is something.
Maybe it's something. B7's hanging now. Does he just play B5? He does, okay. Let's hit the queen. Let's hit the queen again. Okay. Queen e4. Now knight c3 is a fork. Yeah. Goodness me. What a badly played game. Probably should just resign here. Definitely playing worse when I have to do commentary for some reason or for many reasons. Uh, okay, so let's try this. Hoping that the queen and knight together give me something. I mean, obviously they don't, but, you know. Keep playing, I guess, hoping for a miracle. One minute left on the clock. My opponent goes for the very subtle queen g6 to try and hit, take my rook on b1 with check. Now, let's see. Okay, that's nice pinning. Let's unpin because otherwise we will have our knight lost. Now, e6 would be good. Let's attack the rook. I guess rook c8, queen b6. Now rook b8 would allow me to take. Okay. Got to play this because I got to be able to unpin my knight. Now knight d6 would threat f7. That would at least be nice. If rook c8, I'll go back to b6 and offer, offer a repetition. Okay. So let's see. Let's go here. Rook e8. Okay, let's, let's offer this. Now he needs to go rook f7, rook f8 here to cover f7. And then we'll run the h pawn up the board, I think. Okay, that's good. Let's just play this move here. Just have to keep playing moves here, hoping for something. Play this move with tempo, hitting f7 again. And he drops his queen, so we are now back in front. So it's just a kind of sort of time game now. We're hitting e6, so he needs to defend. Now he's lost his rook. Let's attack that. He needs to play gf, and we win the obviously a very lucky win. But there's nothing you can do if you blunder. You just have to look for tricks um, and keep playing. If obviously you have nothing remaining that could ever do any damage, it's fine to resign. But when there's time pressure, either on yourself or your opponent, you have a queen, you have a knight, maybe you have a rook, just keep finding threats. And then, you know, maybe one out of 10 games, you get lucky as we did here and uh, your opponent misses something. Okay, well, thanks for watching that Blitz video, and I'll see you in the next one.